Hello guys, welcome to the channel Stupid for Study. So guys, today we are going to see the concept of surface modeling. So in surface modeling, it is the next stage of wireframe modeling. So in wireframe modeling, models are unable to represent complex surfaces of objects like car, sheep, airplane, wings, castings, etc. Only a surface profile of these objects. So a surface model represents the skin of an object. These skins have no thickness or material type. The surface models define the surface properties as well as the edges of the objects. These are often capable of clearly representing the solid from the manufacturing. However, no information regarding the interior of the solid model would be available which could be relevant for generating the NC cutter data. Here you can see the example of surface model. So it is a control manual and uh, you can see the, the control polygon. So further the calculation of properties such as mass and inertia etc would be difficult. So surface modeling facilities would be available as a part of the modeling technique and would be the used when such surface is present in the product for a design. For example, this method is used for specific non analytical surfaces called sculptures. Surfaces such as those used for modeling the car body and sheep holes. There are number of mathematical techniques available for handling these surfaces such as Bezier and B-splines. The advantages of surface modeling. The first advantage is it eliminates much ambiguity and non-uniqueness present in wireframe models by hiding lines not seen, renders the model for better visualization and presentation, objects appear more realistic, provides the surface geometry for CAM NC machine, also provides the geometry needed by the manufacturing engineer for mold and die design. This can be used to design and analysis complex pre-formed surfaces of sheep holes, fuselages and bodies. Surface properties such as roughness, color and reflectivity can be assigned and demonstrated. Now the disadvantages of surface modeling are provides no information about the inside of an object. So it is the first disadvantage of surface modeling. Also curved surfaces need a fine mesh to be accurate. Provides wrong results if mesh is too coarse. Complicated computation depending on the number of surfaces. So if you like the video, please share it with your friends. Also don't forget to watch the playlist CADCAM in which all the videos related to the surface modeling, solid modeling, wireframe modeling and other videos which will help you for your exam. So thank you for watching.